the final home game of the regular season for the Prowlers, and they finished just as they started against the Motor City Rockers. Good evening, everybody. Will Wiggleman here with you at McMoran Place. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, the Prowlers and the Rockers matching up for the 17th time this season. Number 18 will be tomorrow night in Frazier, but the Prowlers don't have much to play for tonight. Just a four-game win streak they hope to keep alive. Meanwhile, for the Rockers, they're trying to pick up a point that would clinch them second place in the Empire Division, and that would give them home ice advantage in their first round playoff series with the Danbury Hat Tricks. We'll have much more for you coming up on the pregame show. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. Come fill McMoran Place at every Prowlers home game this season. General admission tickets are just $15 with discounts available for seniors, military, students, and children under 12. Upgrade your experience in one of our suites, or bring the whole find your best option to visit the Thumb Coast professional hockey team by visiting phprowlers.com and find the tickets tab or call the box office at 810-985-6166. Secure your seats today. Welcome back to McMoran Place. We are just minutes away from puck drop between the Prowlers and the Motor City Rockers. Will Wiggleman back with you on the PHP Network. And before we take a look at this game here tonight, let's take a look back at the last game for these two teams. Well, the Rockers were off last weekend, but on March the 30th, they faced the Binghamton Black Bears and beat them 6-4. to four. That is the leader of the Rockers Empire Division. And that was part of the weekend where the Prowlers faced the Black Bears and the Columbus River Dragons. The Rockers did so the opposite nights. And the Rockers with a 6-4 win over Binghamton. Rockers also beat Columbus as the Prowlers did. So the, Rocker, or the Black Bears and River Dragons come to Michigan and combined play five games and leave with one win. That belonged to Columbus here at McMoran Place on that Thursday night. For the Prowlers, they were in Baton Rouge last weekend. A close 3-1 win on Friday and then a 4-2 victory on Saturday to sweep the four-game season series. Oscar Walgren picked up his second straight win in as many starts. Meanwhile, Brett Lockhart scoring his first pro goal and Jake Vaughn with a big goal after the Prowlers went up three to nothing. And then the Zydeco came back with a pair of power play goals to pull the score within one. But then the Prowlers again get one from Jake Vaughn that came late in or just a few minutes after the Rockers completed, or the Zydeco, excuse me, completed their run of power play goals. They put the Prowlers back in front by two and killed any kind of momentum that Baton Rouge had built. And the Prowlers get the victory four to two. Uh, league awards around the FPHL beginning to be announced this week. We'll get to that in just a moment as we look at the standings. As I mentioned, the Open, not much for the Prowlers to play for as far as the standings go, they are locked into that three seed. They'll be playing Carolina in the first round. Game one will be here at McMoran Place. But for the Rockers, a little bit to play for as they're trying to stay ahead of Danbury for home ice advantage in the first round. Those two teams will face off in the first round of the Commissioner's Cup playoffs, the 2-3 matchup in the Empire Division. And the Rockers just need a point to clinch that so they are hoping to pick that up here tonight and of course we still have the most interesting race in the league for the past month as the Elmira River Sharks and Watertown Wolves battle for the final playoff spot in the Empire Watertown has two games remaining Elmira just one now we get to the league awards Josh Colton Honored as an Empire Division first team all-star with a 
42 point campaign, 30 assists for him, and both those marks leading all defensemen on the Rockers. He was the 2017-18 FPHL Defenseman of the Year overall, all the way back in 2017-18 in when he played here for the Port here on Prowlers. Named to the Continental Division All-Star team was Alex Johnson, who is putting up another 40-point season for the Prowlers. He's the only Prowler to play in all 54 games so far, has tied his Goal total from last year with 11 this year, 29 assists, 40 points for Johnson, first team, all continental division. Johnson up on the top pair in his usual spot as we take a look at the Prowlers lineup, but a couple of changes in the lines and some good news for the Prowlers. The captain, Evan Foley, returning to the lineup as he is all set to go from his upper body injury. Prowlers released Ross Bartlett earlier in the week, so Foley taking his spot on that third line. Dan Chartrand draws back in in the place of Jake Vaughn. And then on the back end, the only difference from last Saturday is Dominic Luber and Brett Lockhart switch spots. Lockhart now with Frank Schumacher and Parsons, Brian Parsons will play with Dominic Luber. And between the pipes tonight for the Prowlers, Makar Sokolov will get the start. He picked up a victory in the 3-1 win for the Prowlers a week ago. As we are just minutes away from puck drop here at McMoran Place. As coming up in just moments, we will have the starting lineup announcements and the national anthem. We'll find out the starters along with you. We have not gotten any word on who will be starting for the Prowlers in this game aside from Makar Sokolov in net. And you know, tonight the Prowlers playing all the, most of their big guys and this lineup could be very similar to what we see in the first game of the playoffs against Carolina tomorrow night. We'll see if they decide to rest, guys. But first, again, we'll have to get through tonight's game here at McMoran Places. We're all set to announce the Prowlers' starting lineup, but still waiting for Motor City to take the ice. And now, here come the Rockers, finally taking the ice. And soon we'll be able to get underway with this one as Motor City and Port Huron play for the 17th time this season. Tomorrow will be at number 18 for these two rivals. Let's take you down to ice level for the rest of the pregame ceremonies. Thank you. 
third end back on the anthem tonight here at McMoran Place as the Prowlers and Rockers get set for the final home game for the Prowlers this season. Fan appreciation night. Let's give you the Orthopedic Associates starting lineup one more time in case you missed it. Up front it's going to be Austin Federley, Jeremy Rancourt, and Dalton Jay on defense. Frank Schumacher and Dominic Luber. So I guess reverse back Lockhart and Luber on the defense positions as I showed you the lineup a few moments ago. Makar Sokolov between the pipes. And as we see the Prowler starting lineup with the quick dropping of the ceremonial puck drop, it is the 100th anniversary of the town of Marysville nearby here to Port Huron. So the mayor of Marysville here to drop the puck and Prowler's very happy to have that celebration here tonight. Take a look at our starting goaltending matchup. It'll be Makar Sokolov and Ricky Gonzalez for tonight's game. Sokolov got the victory in his last two starts as he was in between the pipes for the win last, the last two Friday wins against Baton Rouge and Binghamton. He's allowed one goal in each of those two starts. Ricky Gonzalez on the other side, getting an opportunity. No Trevor Babin for tonight's game. He is the backup, although he has been returned from Kalamazoo, where he got an opportunity earlier this week in the ECHL. So Trevor Babin backing up, and Ricky Gonzalez gets the start here tonight for Motor City as we just wait for... This one to get underway. Prowlers this season at home, 16-10-1, trying to make it 17-10-1. Here at McMoran Place this year. They're on a four-game win streak, trying to extend it to a season-high five wins as Prowlers recognizing Mike Young, the longtime off-ice official here and down in Motor City as well. It's nice for them to recognize him. We'll take you back down for that. The off-ice officials being honored here on Fan Appreciation Night. They work so hard all season long to make sure that the games go smoothly, whether it's in the penalty boxes upstairs working the live stats on the computer that make me look like I know exactly what's going on, but really I'm just reading the live stats here on my computer, but wouldn't happen without them. So thank you to all the off-ice officials who worked so hard all year. Now we're set for hockey. Rockers starting with line of Jonathan Giuliano, TJ Delaney, and Pavel Spintsov. Jamison Milam, who along with Josh Colton was named to the Empire Division first team all-star team and Nick Miguel Diaz, the other defenseman for Motor City to begin this one. Paul Jean has his arm in the air. He's all set to drop the puck. The players are all set to go. Fan appreciation night here at McMoran Place. And we're underway. Rockers get the first possession. It's a backhand dump 
by Giuliano that Svintsov and Luber head after. Schumacher up to Dalton J on for Federley. Pulls up, back towards Jay Beckander, stopped by Gonzalez with the blocker. And now Rancourt in the corner looking towards Federley, slipped by him, Luber able to keep it in at the line. They work back up the wall, Svintsov digs it out of a pile, gets his way out, stepped up on by Luber as he dumped it in. Rocker's in the midst of a change. And the Prowlers look to work back out. Golo took that bouncing puck, gets it back up to Dalton J. Now Tristan Wells works from behind the net. Golo steps back into that puck. Wells took a big hit behind the play from Tucker Scantleberry. Meanwhile, here's Avery Smith, the rookie out of Indiana Tech. Shot from the point, blocker saved by Sokolov. Puck escapes the zone just over a minute gone in period one. Dumped back in by the Rockers captain, Danny Vanderweel, but from his own side of the red line. So that's an early icing against the Motor City Rockers. Just a minute 16 in. It's been a long season series between these two teams. We're going to break it all down tomorrow as quickly as we can during the first intermission of tomorrow night's game. So be sure to tune in for that. Watch all the highlights, or as much of them as we can fit in an intermission of 17 games. Here's Wells, pass to Gullo over his stick, and Brett Lockhart back for it. Scored his first pro goal in the Prowlers last game, down in Baton Rouge. And with him scoring that goal, now all five of the skaters the Prowlers signed out of college a couple of weeks ago have all found the score sheet. That'll be Lockhart, Luber, Rancourt, Jake Vaughn, and Chase McCardle. McCardle out there now on the top pairing with Alex Johnson. Vaughn scratched tonight, but he will be eligible for the playoffs. Everyone currently on the Prowlers roster except for Paul Arnott, eligible for playoffs. Here's to Cumbus, a shot just slips wide. So lots of options for Matt Graham to choose from in game one, a week from today, here at McMoran Place against the Carolina Thunderbirds. Lane King over to Josh Colton. Rockers don't know where their game one will be. They hope it's at home. They have a two point lead on Danbury. Both teams with two games, or excuse me, the Rockers have two games left to play. Hat Tricks have just one. And Motor City trying to secure home ice advantage for the first round. And that one goes all the way down for an icing. And you know, getting home ice advantage between the Rockers and Hat Tricks, it's not so much getting one extra game at Big Boy Arena, which of course the Rockers want. It's just as much about having one less game at Danbury Ice Arena, which is one of the toughest places to play in the FBHL. With those fans going all night long, just ask the Prowlers, they broke a multi-year drought of wins at that building earlier this year. They did go one in five at Danbury Ice Arena this season. I should say one, or one and four, excuse me, one, two, and two. Prowlers were in Danbury this year. Getting the victory on their last trip there back in early January, an overtime winner from Matt Graham. Luber down the wall to Dalton J. Sent it all the way across. And TJ Delaney gets it out. Federley dumps it right back in, spins away from Delaney. Rotundi right up to big TJ Delaney, but got through and banged back around by Tucker Skittleberry. Luber makes a dangle at the blue line, but coming back to pick it off his stick was Giuliano. Schumacher blocks that one down at the red line. And now Svintsov, quick up towards Delaney. Freeborn right on him, and comes back 
to Colton. Rockers still trying to get past the Prowler's side of the red line. This time the puck gets there, but Lockhart brings it right back over, and Freeborn has it on to Skittleberry. Curling drag to the net, and he couldn't get a good shot away. Now Freeborn got a good one off, and a kick saved by Ricky Gonzalez. As that puck came right back out in front, Gonzalez kicked out the left leg. Shots 2-1 in favor of the Prowlers in the early going. As Miguel Diaz looks to work it up to Koash, kicks it up to his stick. His shot blocked on the way through. George Holt with a try. Rose out of play. And we'll get a whistle and a faceoff four minutes in to period one. Scott Koash, of course, the leader in goals and points once again for the Motor City Rockers. 26 goals, 52 points this season. He led the Rockers in both of those categories last year, 40 goals and 72 points for him in 49 games in 2022-23. Liam Freeborn, the Prowlers leader in goals, assists, and points this season. Lockhart up to Vinny DeCumbus. He chips it in, Chartrand after it with Miguel Diaz. Poked along towards Koash. Dumped out, Lockhart gloves it down. Watched by Holt, Lockhart retreats behind his own cage. And he revs up ice. Tecumbus on for Shirtran, has Foley going to the net, gets it there, and the shot from the outside, squeezed by Ricky Gonzalez, stopping the captain, Evan Foley, who returns to the lineup in tonight's game. He missed both games in Baton Rouge with an upper body injury. Didn't make the trip. But now right back on the ice. He takes the draw against TJ Sneath. It's been a revelation this season. Signed after the season began. Has emerged as one of the better goal scorers on this Rockers team. Here's Alex Johnson. Gave it away to Sneath. Centering feed towards Lane King. Broken up. And Evan Foley bounces it off the wall towards Chartrand. Chartrand battling with Wells. Tacomas takes the puck, but he fanned out a pass. He had Chase McCardle running down the back door. And now Wells on to Vanderweel. Starts up ice. Had his pocket picked by Dalton J, who gave it right back to the Rockers. Declan Conway poked away by McCardle. Vanderweel steps into one. And it's steered wide by Sokolov. Vanderweel kept that one in at the line. Johnson comes over for it. And now on to McCardle. Lofts it out, Giuliano. Back to Rotundi. Wheels it to Josh Colton. Delaney feathers it, cross ice, and Giuliano bangs it in. Quick shot stopped by Sokolov. And he'll hang on for a whistle and a faceoff as the Prowlers had some trouble with the bouncing puck. And Josh Colton got a good opportunity. Just under six minutes gone in period one, no score. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. I'm proud to serve farmers because everything they do matters. If I could choose one word to describe a farmer, I would say essential. Dedicated. Enterprising. The most creative people. They're providing food for the rest of the world. Some of the qualities I look for uh, when hiring is personality, perseverance, someone that's determined. We want to be able to hire someone that understands what we're supporting, and ultimately that's the grower. Come fill McMoran Place at every Prowler's home game this season. General admission tickets are just $15 with discounts available for seniors, military, students, and children under 12. Upgrade your experience in one of our suites or bring the whole squad to the game with discounts for groups of 10 or more. Find your best option to visit the Thumb Coast professional hockey team by visiting phprowlers.com and find the tickets tab or call the box office at 810-985. 6166. Secure your seats today. Back here at McMoran Place, still scoreless. 14 16 left in period number one. Prowlers and Rockers tied in the shots department. 
three apiece. Plenty of FPHL awards already announced. And some of them involved in this game, Jamison Milam and Josh Colton, Empire Division First Team All-Stars, Alex Johnson, Continental Division First Team All-Star, and Gordy Brown, coach of the Rockers, was named the FPHL's Coach of the Year. And also, Matt Graham got the FPHL's Achievement Award as well. Now both coaches getting some major awards and recognition from the FPHL. Colton played it back across to Rotundi. That pass got through everyone. Sokolov tried to play it with his stick, ended up jumping on top of it with the glove and hanging on for a whistle and a face off. So we'll get another draw deep in Prowler territory. Top line out there for both teams. Scott Coash's line, he's lined up on the wing. Uh, against Liam Freeborn's line, he's lined up on the other wing. As Frank Schumacher steps around the wall, gave it away to Gullo, sent it all the way through. Miguel Diaz steps in from his defensive position, and then Smith from the goal line. Couldn't get that one to go. Luber kept it moving. Scantleberry on to Freeborn. Has some room to skate. He's chased down by Smith. Freeborn curls, giving himself some room. And now Scantleberry in the corner. Out high to Schumacher. Across to Luber. Winds, fakes, sent it through. That one deflected away. Gullo's behind everybody, but they couldn't get it to him. Milam dumps that one in. Bounces off the back wall. Both teams in the midst of a change. So Schumacher looks to play it out. Gave it away to Conway. And now Sneath back to Vanderweel. Rockers reset. Miguel Diaz turns away from a check as he rims it around. McCardle moves it along to Federley. On to Rancourt. Steps around Tristan Wells. His shot blocked by Vanderweel. Rancourt tried to pull it out of the pile, instead comes down towards the Rockers captain. That's fired across to Wells. Over the red line, cross corner dump, Sneath and McArdle after it. Kicked along by King, centering feed, finds Sneath, and the outside shot stopped by Sokolov. Colton walks, sent it through, off a stick. McArdle bangs it off the boards, took a funny hop off the stanchion, Rockers keep it alive. King down low looking towards Conway. Rancourt got a piece. Rockers with pressure. Sent towards the net again. Ends up in the corner. And Federley without a stick somehow able to poke it out. Browlers get a, most of a change going before the Rockers quick up. Svintsov lost it. McCardle on the short trend. Has to come. It's going towards the net. Sent it on Cage, stop off this face off. Dump back down to Prowler Ice. Sorry about that, it looks like having a little technical difficulties with the Wi-Fi or the internet here at McMore in place. Rockers looking to play this one out. As Svintsov across the blue line to Giuliano. Kicked along by Lockhart. Evan Foley back for it on towards Chartrand. Had to sidestep a hit. Lockhart skates into the puck, sent it towards the cage. But couldn't find Decumbus' stick. It caroms all the way to Evan Foley back at his own blue line. Dumped out towards Koash. He gets it back on to Smith. Uh, the Rockers offside at the Prowler line. As Smith stepped into by Brett Lockhart. Ten and a half to go in period number one. Connor Foley and Avery Smith on this face off. One back to Schumacher. Luber spinning it on to Freeborn. Now Freeborn plays to the middle of the ice, Scantleberry. Able to dump it around. 
Freeborn to Connor Foley, dancing through. Stop by Gonzalez, pops out to Schumacher, back on net, and a kick saved by Gonzalez. Smith played it back to Ricky Gonzalez, and he gets the cover. The freeze play for a whistle and a faceoff. And a couple of good opportunities there for the Prowlers. Both teams with chances, shots right now 6-3, favoring Port Huron. Neath and Evan Foley for this draw. Tap back to Johnson. Rister through. Stick save by Gonzalez. Chartrand moves it around to Foley. Out high again. Johnson. Chopped down the wall. Pops out to Decumbus. He moves around the net. Sent into the wall by Coat, or Conway, excuse me. Now McCardle. Johnson to Foley. Tap just wide. Evan Foley right back on it, sent it towards the back door. But Chartran was tied up. Now Johnson, the Rockers in scramble mode. That shot deflected and it goes off the back glass. McCardle keeps it in at the line, dumped around. Prowler's beginning a change. Johnson behind the net to Chartran. Comes back out with it. McCardle at the top. Makes a move around King. Steps in, is shot in and out of the glove of Ricky Gonzalez. And now Rankort's behind the net. Tried to center. Now Wells takes the puck, but bounces to Johnson. His shot flubbed it. Loose puck again. Johnson recollects. Down to Federley. Great shift for the Prowlers. Rankort scores! Short train in front to Jeremy Raincourt, his first as a pro. Prowlers on the board first here tonight. All kinds of work in the Rockers' end by two lines for the Prowlers. It started with Evan Foley's line, and then Raincourt's line came out, and Chartrand in front. Raincourt didn't get all of it, but he got enough to push it past Gonzalez for his first pro goal to go along with the two assists he already has this season. And the Prowlers are absolutely buzzing there. Get exactly what they deserve with the puck in the back of the net. Prowlers looking for more as Scantleberry regrouping. Chips it past a couple of Rockers, lost his stick. Freeborn collects the puck, he shoots. Stopped by Gonzalez, juggled for a moment, and he's able to cover up for a whistle and a faceoff. As Austin Federley and Dan Chartrand get the assist. We'll take a break. Jeremy Rancourt, Prowlers, up one to nothing. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. Back here at McMoran Place, Jeremy Raincourt from Dan Chartrand and Austin Federley at the Prowlers up one to nothing with 8.28 to go in period one, the Munger Physical Therapy first period. Fans getting loud here at McMoran Place. Hopefully we can get this kind of energy for the playoffs on Friday. Crowds have been good here at McMoran Place these last couple of weeks. As Colton puts that one back towards the cage. 
And it's blocked away. Game against Columbus a couple of weeks ago on that Saturday. Loud, loud building, especially for Alex Johnson's hit into the bench. He sent Ryan Hunter into the bench. And of course, Liam Freeborn's game winning goal with 98 seconds up on the clock. Crowd went nuts. And hopefully, again, we'll see a good crowd for game one against the Carolina Thunderbirds a week from tonight. Evan Foley gave it up, and Gullo's shot gloved by Sokolov. He'll hang on. Face off deep in Sokolov's end. Captain Evan Foley staying out there for the Prowlers. Actually, he'll head off for the other Foley, Connor Foley. Take this face off against Avery Smith. Smith wins it back. Gullo couldn't find the target. And McGill Diaz bangs it back around. Luber and Smith digging away. Smith throws his big body into Frank Schumacher. Now Gullo back towards the cage, sticked away by Sokolov. Scantleberry across to Luber, on to Connor Foley. He gets it back from Freeborn. Comes up the wall, Gullo just sends it high and out. Luber and Koash after it. Comes around to Schumacher. Curls back and looks up to Scantleberry. Rocker's in the midst of a change. Scantleberry with a nice move around King. Gets around another Rocker. He pulls up in offensive territory, but nobody home at the point. Prowlers in the midst of a defensive change. Johnson went down in a heap in the neutral zone. He's back to his skates. Meanwhile, McGill Diaz skating it out of his own end into offensive territory. Sent it all the way across to the near side corner. That one off of Paul Jean, the referee's skate, and right on Connor Foley's tape. Gonzalez. Dumped around. Short trend in on King. Vanderweel and Decumbus also digging away in there. Wells watching. Puck pops out for him. Tried to dump it out though, and Evan Foley able to block it down. Chipped across to Sneath. Tries the headman feed onto Conway. And they couldn't connect. And Alex Johnson wins the race for icing. Prowlers with an offensive zone faceoff, under six to go in period number one. Jeremy Reitkort's line out there now for the Prowlers. He's the only goal scorer so far, and he'll take the faceoff against TJ Sneath. Wells rims it up the boards. Conway took a bump from Federley. And now Sneath with a dump. Lockhart hanging out behind his own net. Sent it up to Dalton J. Makes a move. And then Delaney sent it right back the other way. Sokolov juggles that dump in and hangs on. Another whistle and another face off. Court and Giuliano will take this face off. Shots 10-5 in favor of the Prowlers. They had seven straight at one point that culminated in the goal, but since then, Rockers with the only two shots on net. This one sent deep, cut off by Rancourt, and then Delaney with a turnaround try. That was blocked. Federley and Giuliano locked up, comes to the point to Colton. That one didn't get all the way through. Jay looks to spring a rush onto Rancourt. Working on Colton, back towards Dalton Jay. Pass was behind him and deflects out of the zone. Forced back to Luber and slips on to Scantleberry fresh off the bench. Long range try, gloved and held by Ricky Gonzalez. Take a time out, 4.51 to go in period one here at McMoran Place. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network.
At Hungry Howie's, we're famous for flavor. And this is our chief flavor officer. Every hour of every day, our CFO obsesses over the tastiest ingredients, combining them to create new flavor combinations your taste buds never knew they needed until now. Introducing his latest master pizza, the Pepperoni Duo. A delicious combination of classic cut pepperoni, original pepperoni, 100% mozzarella cheese, and our famous flavored crust. Two kinds of pepperoni, all kinds of delicious. Hungry? Howie's! Back here at McMoran, place under five to go in the Munger Physical Therapy first period. Prowlers with the only goal on the board so far, one nothing off the stick of Jeremy Rancourt. Rookie out of Plymouth State had four goals this season for Plymouth State. Two of those goals were shorthanded. That one sent all the way out. Prowlers want the two main men on the ice call they won't get. He's dumped right back in on Gonzalez. Josh Colton up the right wing side. Gullo ducks a hit. Comes back to Colton and now Rotundi. Off the near side boards, Colton first in on it. Dumps it back around, Freeborn. Trying to kick it along. Moves it up the wall to Koash. Rister through traffic, didn't get all the way through. That hit Frank Schumacher. Prowler's away on a rush. Dropped to Luber the trailer. Down low, Freeborn couldn't get it to go. And it just went past Connor Foley at the side of the crease. Scantleberry turning in the corner on Gullo. Scantleberry continues to move. Escapes. Has shot, missed wide. Gonzalez may have gotten a piece as that one rode out of play. But a good chance there from the Prowlers. Luber had a chance to shoot, but instead he went to the back door to Liam Freeborn. Not sure if Freeborn got a good shot away and Gonzalez made the save. And it ended up slipping back through the crease. And Connor Foley just couldn't reach it as he was tied up. But a good rush there from the Prowlers and the defense jumping in on the rush. We saw it last weekend for Brett Lockhart who scored his first pro goal jumping in on a two on one. And then Luber who's done that a few times since he's been here. Shirk Tran to McCardle. Rister just missed it wide. Johnson around. Took a weird hop off the stanchion. Chip back out, Johnson plays it off the board. Shirk Tran collects. Trying to escape Lane King. Around the boards to Evan Foley. Out high, Johnson. Back deep, Chartrand. Goes over to the far side, King first on it. Sidesteps a hit and gives on to Milam. Sneath looking back towards Milam. Pass was behind him. Chartrand hard off the glass all the way down and that will just bounce wide of Gonzalez. So icing called against the Prowlers. Rockers will get a chance to send out a fresh group for an offensive zone face-off. They have Jonathan Giuliano's line out there now. He'll take the face-off against Evan Foley. Johnson up to Foley. Now Chartrand tried to keep it moving. T.J. Delaney takes it back from Motor City. Prowler's trying to begin a change. As Giuliano dumps it in on Sokolov, regathers and covers up. And now the Prowlers will be able to get some fresh troops on the ice. 2.33 left in period one. Still a one nothing score for the Prowlers in the 17th Battle of I-94 this season. Rockers have already clinched the season series win. Prowlers still would like to get some victories for bragging rights. Dalton J by himself, waits for help, floats it towards Gonzalez who had to reach back out for it. Federally was crashing the net, tied up with a rocker. Everyone has their arms in the air. And they'll get untangled and go back to the face off circle.
The draw will be between Rancourt and Sneath. One back by the Prowlers, Lockhart. Over to Federley, tried to return feed off the skate of King. Instead, the Prowlers dump it around. Vanderweel up the glass, King knocks it down. Moves it on to Tristan Wells. Give it away though. Rancourt to Federley, the glove save by Gonzalez as Federley was looking high. And trying to pick that corner, Prowlers with another offensive zone face off. They send out the top line. Shots 15-6 now in favor of the home side. They have the one to nothing lead. Puck drop there, Luber down the wall. And now Tucker Scantleberry. Freeborn behind the net, wrap attempt. And it didn't get there and then Gonzalez knocked it away from Scantleberry diving all the way out with his goal stick. Schumacher back towards the cage, stopped up and dumped out. Freeborn stepped on the puck as he tried to play with his skate, so in comes Gullo. Comes around to Schumacher. Scantleberry dangles around Smith and gives it back to Frank Schumacher who slows things down. Scantleberry, that is past, bounce past Freeborn. Dumped in on Sokolov and he will once again opt for the whistle and the face off. Minute 14 left in period number one. So Evan Foley's line back up against Jonathan Giuliano's line for this face off. TJ Delaney walks, sends it down low and steered away by Sokolov. Svintsov. Popped it out to Giuliano, now Delaney. Out high it comes, the wrister sent just wide by Rotundi. Couple feet over top of the net as well. Under mid to go in period one. Johnson tried to send McCardle who was breaking. Rotundi, head up. Played it off of Delaney's skate. Has kicked right to Sneath. Now Rancourt. All by himself, long range try, missed the net. Chartrand picks it up on the other side, fires it back around towards Jeremy Rancourt. It looked like he got his stick up high on Sneath. The arm stayed down. Rancourt did certainly get away with one there. Sneath back to the bench, doubled over. Lockhart in his own end with 15. Parsons outlet pass, knocked down by King. Lockhart. Trying to make a pass, it bounces towards Rancourt. Final seconds ticking off of the opening period. Milam will just eat it in the corner and that's going to do it for the opening 20 minutes here at McMoran Place. Prowlers with a one to nothing lead on the Motor City Rockers. And TJ Sneath wants to know how they missed that high sticking penalty, having a chat with Paul Jean at center ice. Again, certainly Prowlers and Jeremy Rancourt got away with one there as his stick came up and caught Sneath up high, but that happens in this league. Things get missed, and we head to the locker rooms, and it will be five on five when period two begins. Coming up in the first intermission, we take a look at the highlights from the Prowlers' trip to Baton Rouge last weekend. A two-game series sweep for the Prowlers. They sweep the season series from the Baton Rouge Zydeco as well. We'll also look at some storylines around the FPHL, including a former Prowler who was released this week and then picked up. We'll tell you where he's going. Also, a couple of suspensions and some season ending IR. It's all coming up here on the first intermission report right here on the PHP network. But the Prowlers with the lead heading into the First intermission, and they're up on shots, 15 to seven. Well, the playoffs are coming, so get something new to cheer your Prowlers to a championship. The store 
Prowler's Team Store features lace-up sweatshirts, team issue apparel, and more, plus playoff merch, including Commissioner's Cup playoff shirts and pucks. Come find us now on the West End of McMoran Arena at every home game or online anytime at prowlersmerch.com. You can scan the QR code on your screen now to visit the online shop. Look your poho best with gear from the Prowlers team store. One nothing Prowlers through 20 minutes here at McMoran Place. We'll take a break. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. I've worked at Pioneer and now Corteva for 36 years. It goes by very quickly. This is a pretty noble profession for your giving back to humanity. Curiosity is so important. I learn something new every day. What's that next challenge that may occur for farmers? You do really feel like you've got an impact on what's coming. I can see how we're making things better. And we have the best solutions for our farmers. And I think we're here to feed and fuel the world. I'm proud to be part of that culture and I'm proud to be part of the company. At Hungry Howie's, we're famous for flavor, and this is our chief flavor officer. Every hour of every day, our CFO obsesses over the tastiest ingredients, combining them to create new flavor combinations your taste buds never knew they needed until now. Introducing his latest master pizza, the Pepperoni Duo, a delicious combination of classic cut pepperoni, original pepperoni, 100% mozzarella cheese, and our famous flavored crust. Two kinds of pepperoni, all kinds of delicious. Hungry Howie's. Keep up with your Prowlers all season long on social media. Follow us on Facebook at the Port Huron Prowlers, Instagram at PH Prowlers, and Twitter at PH Prowlers. And you can find more information on our website, phprowlers.com. got a ticket from phprowlers.com. I should have just bought tickets at phprowlers.com. I got it! I should have just got a ticket at phprowlers.com. I should have got a ticket at phprowlers.com. They should have just got tickets at phprowlers.com.
the near side boards. Connor Foley down deep to Skittleberry. Got through his skates. Now Connor Foley scores! Liam Freeborn wrapped it in front. Connor Foley puts it in on the short side. And with a minute eight to go in period one, the Prowlers break the ice. Seventh in the FPHL at 20.8%. Zydeco PK, fourth in the league, 81.6%. Luber shot, he scores! Off the crossbar, off Stevens and in, and the first pro goal for Dominic Luber makes it two to nothing. Jay tried to dance his way towards the net. Katola took it away. Now comes out in front. Federally, he scores! Austin Federally makes good on the turnover. And just like that, the Prowlers are up by three. MJ Graham behind the net. Gets it back. Centering feet. Caught up in Robinson skates and poked out. Katola, Hanson, one-timer. Stopped by Sokolov. Drop for Cox. Walks in. He shoots. Blocked on the way through. Cox again. Blocked up in traffic again. And Johnson able to rescue it and he gave it away. What a save by Sokolov. Reactionary stop with the blocker. 30 seconds left in four on four. Then will be a Zydeco power play. Stevens staying put. Shot from Hippolyte Smith eaten up by Makar Sokolov right in the bread basket. Face off one by the Zydeco. But the pass back to the point, got through. Moriarty out to play it. Away from the oncoming Dalton J. Vaughn back to the net. Rose high off the glass. Jay, the only one who knew where it was. It took a funny hop and Sim scores. It bounced off the Zamboni door, came right back the way it was going. All the Zydeco players over skated it. Dalton Jay, the only one who knew where it was. And he feeds Tristan Sim, who gets the Prowlers on the board first. Now Skettleberry, back to Connor Foley, two on one. Connor Foley, across, they score! That's Brent Lockhart jumping in on the play, his first pro goal, and the Prowlers have a two to nothing lead. A cycle play, taken away, Katola hustling in. He shoots, kick save by Oscar Walgren. Goals in each of the wins for the Prowlers last weekend as Johnson takes it in front to Cumbus, makes good on it this time. And he makes it three nothing Prowlers as Alex Johnson finds him on the back door. Nothing Moriarty could do that time. Luber couldn't force it up the wall the first time. Alexian backdoor feed and a save by Oscar Walgren on MJ Graham streaking down the backside. Who kept him from getting a good shot on net. Rister from long range stopped by Walgren. The rebound, another save from Oscar Walgren. Now Bartlett lifts a stick, try to wrap. And Moriarty got the pad on the post. McCardle back at center. Up to Vaughn. Works his way in. His shot, he scores! Jake Vaughn kills the Baton Rouge momentum and puts the Prowlers back up by two. Keep up with your Prowlers all season long on social media. Follow us on Facebook at the Port Huron Prowlers, Instagram at PH Prowlers, and Twitter at PH Prowlers. And you can find more information on our website, phprowlers.com.
not even that much better than you. Should have just got a ticket from phprowlers.com. I should have just bought tickets at phprowlers.com. I got it! I should have just got a ticket at phprowlers.com. I should have got a ticket at phprowlers.com. They should have just got tickets at phprowlers.com. Welcome back to McMoran Place, wrapping up the first intermission. Here between the Prowlers and the Motor City Rockers, Jeremy Rancourt with the only goal. It is one to nothing in favor of Port Huron. As this is the first game that got underway in the FBHL, but it's not the only one going on tonight. And in a moment, we'll be able to show you our out of town scoreboard, but the Prowlers and Prowlers with not much to play for. Rockers with a lot to play for. And as Motor City trying to earn the second spot in the Empire Division and with that get home ice advantage in their first round series against the Danbury Hattricks. As they will battle it out coming up next weekend while the Prowlers are battling with the Mississippi Sea Wolves. Now let's take a look at that out of town scoreboard. And the most important game of the night going on in Withville as the Watertown Wolves trying to pull back into playoff positioning, taking on the Blue Ridge Bobcats. No score yet. They are late stages of the opening period. Bobcats trying to play spoiler this weekend. Watertown has two games remaining. Elmira with one, and the Wolves two points back of the River Sharks. An important one for the Rockers fans. As I mentioned, Rockers trying to secure second place in the division, and they can do so with a point here at McMoran Place, or if the Danbury Hattricks miss out on a point, as they're home right now, they're up one to nothing on the Binghamton Black Bears. Thanks to a goal by Johnny Ruiz. Early in the opening period, they are still playing in the first 20 minutes. Carolina Thunderbirds and Columbus River Dragons after lots of chaos in last night's game. A shootout win for Columbus. Tied up at one. They're playing still in the first period. Brian Moore and John Batita. The goal scorers down in Winston-Salem and dropping the puck just about a half hour from now, the Mississippi Sea Wolves and the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Of course here it is, a one to nothing Prowlers leads. We take a look at some storylines around the FPHL. And we start with a couple of suspensions from that game last night between the Carolina Thunderbirds and Columbus River Dragons. As Jacob Schnapp and Jordan Popoff are sitting for tonight's game. They both received separate game misconduct, separate incidents, but still each of them get a game to sit in the press box as they receive the one game suspension. Ross Bartlett dropped by the Prowlers earlier this week, picked up by the Watertown Wolves. And coming into the night, he only needed one game to be eligible for playoffs. He's in the lineup for the Wolves, so he will be eligible to play in the playoffs if Watertown does in fact make it. Bartlett trying to help push the Wolves into the playoffs. And the playoff team that's been struggling, the coldest team, the FPHL, seven straight losses for the Mississippi Seawolves. And they got some more bad news this week. Blake Warwick and Joachim Nilsson placed on the IR. That will be the, that is the season ending IR. So they'll be without, who well, I believe their best goaltender is and one of their better goal scorers as they 
prepare to go up against the Columbus River Dragons again. They've lost seven straight games. They've, and four of those games have been to the bottom team in the FPHL, the Baton Rouge Zydeco. I'm talking about last night and three games uh, against the Zydeco before the Prowlers were in Baton Rouge last weekend. And those are your storylines around the league. We'll turn our attention back to tonight's game. It's a one to nothing Prowlers lead. No penalties, nobody to the box in the opening 20 minutes. But if we've learned anything, that as soon as I say that, that means we're going to have a penalty filled period. So get ready for a parade to the penalty boxes. Unless both teams will just mellow out and decide that they don't want to risk anything in terms of suspensions for playoffs. Of course, we did get the missed call late in that period as Rancourt got his stick up on TJ Sneath. It was very quick, but the referees tonight, Paul Jean and Jonathan Sitarski, didn't raise the arm tights linesmen as we're on the subject, Dallas Mitchell and Mark Jackson. So one nothing Prowlers. We get set for a period number two. Rockers taking the ice. We look at our PHP Network trivia question. Last weekend, Prowlers completing the season series sweep of the Zydeco. We want to know what Port Huron's record uh, against the three new teams this season is. That would be the record combined uh, against the Zydeco, the Blue Ridge Bobcats, and the Elmira River Sharks. So put your guess in the comments section and we'll have the answer for you coming up at the start of period three. You see Ricky Gonzalez there in the gold crease to our right. He made 14 saves on 15 Prowler shots in the opening 20. You just saw Makar Sokolov lead the Prowlers out of the tunnel for period two. Seven saves on seven rocker shots in period number one. Game 55 of 56 for both of these teams. Game 17 of 18 between them. And the Rockers have already won 10 of the 18 that will be played. Prowlers trying to get some victories for bragging rights at the end of this season. And we're underway here in period two. Elton J turns right and dumps it in. Nick McGill Diaz took the handoff from Gonzalez. Tried to spin away from Jay. Federally took the puck. Squirts out to center. And Luber forced back and gives it over to Schumacher. Giuliano off the boards. Spinso makes a move around Rancourt. Now three on two developing. But Federally back to knock away the pass. Rancourt off the wall past Jay. Milam back at center. Miguel Diaz gets the red line, gets it around. And on the fresh sheet of ice, it rims all the way back to the red line. Federley scoops it up, but his pass towards Dalton J out of his reach. They dig away. Luber tried to give a pass up. Avery Smith cut it off. He works his way in. Luber takes the puck from him. A couple of rockers crash on Luber behind the net. And now it's Freeborn on towards Scantleberry into offensive territory. Save, rebound, stopped by Gonzalez. And he covers it up as Gonzalez robbed Cotter fully on the rebound a couple of times. What a save by Ricky Gonzalez. Scantleberry put the shot on. It was a perfect rebound right on Connor Foley's tape. He couldn't elevate it as he was tied up. And maybe they'll say he was tied up illegally as Avery Smith is heading to the penalty box. The Prowlers to the quality power play. One for six last weekend against Baton Rouge. They're working at a 20.8% clip this season. Sixth in the FBHL. And the Rockers get the first clear there. Penalty kill third ranked in the FBHL. 
as Freeborn fires it across to Scantoberry, gets around Colton, backdoor play, looking for Connor Foley, ended up bouncing there, but he couldn't get a stick on it, and it's dumped quickly back down again. Johnson, McArdle, Scantoberry, Freeborn, and Connor Foley, this power play unit for the Prowlers. McArdle taps it on to Scantoberry, enters offensive territory and drops it to Johnson. Freeborn with space, trying to play it to the middle of the ice, Johnson collects the loose puck. He walks, gives back to Freeborn, down low. Looking for a little bit of a shot pass, maybe as Scantleberry was on the post. Meanwhile, McArdle almost gave it away. Johnson took it back. Connor Foley swung and missed. And a wrist shot in the middle of the ice. Bounce back out to center. McArdle again, almost with a giveaway. And he gets it to Freeborn. Couple of players getting tangled up away from the puck. Milam first on in the corner. Dumps it all the way out, and Austin Federley hustles after it with Coash. 45 seconds left on the Prowlers' man advantage. Not much going on as of yet. Prowlers have switched units. Here comes Federley dancing his way in, but offside called against the Prowlers. 32 seconds left on the man advantage. The clock continues to tick. Looks like they'll hold it for... Five seconds. That's the indication I'm getting. They'll call upstairs to see if they have a more accurate time. This unit for the Prowlers, Rancourt, Lockhart, Sim, Federley, and Luber. They put it back to 20, it looks like. They have to reset the penalty clock too, that is separate. Seventeen twenty to go in period two. 34 seconds left in the Prowlers' man advantage. Now we're ready to go. Face off one back by Sneath. And Miguel Diaz able to waste some time before sending it the length of the sheet. Federley skates up slowly. His saucer pass hits Sneath. And King gets it up to TJ Sneath. 15 to go on the Prowler's man advantage. Nothing doing on it as Federley gets one last rush. He gets in, gets around. Lockhart stopped by Gonzalez with the double pad stack. And then the... Second shot goes all the way around and back to Prowler Rice. Ricky Gonzalez gets one for the highlight reel. Backdoor play towards Giuliano. Kicked off his skate and wide. And Vinny DeCumbus revs up ice. Chartrand dumps it around. Gonzalez there with the goal stick. Chartrand down to DeCumbus. And now Giuliano up the wall towards TJ Delaney. Schumacher, he collects behind his own net, has Chartrand at the far blue line, gives it there. Miguel Diaz fresh off the bench, Chartrand around him, looking towards Decumbus. And now Vinny Decumbus up to the top to Parsons. He walks in, he shoots, that one deflected wide, batted at by Foley. Now Schumacher back to the net, blocker save by Gonzalez. Loose puck. Parsons jumped in on it. It's chopped out of the zone. Conway off to the races. Schumacher back to defend him. They'll give a penalty to Frank Schumacher. He doesn't like it, but holding is the signal. And now the Rockers to the man advantage after killing off the Prowlers' first power play of the game. Prowlers' PK still last in the league, 73.3%. Four for seven last weekend against Baden Rouge. Zydeco had three goals in the two games. All three of them came on the power play. One of them was a five on three goal. Rockers power play, third in the league, 27.3%. And the last time these two teams matched up the three game set back in March, Rockers power play, 0 for 13 in those three games. Ended up knocking them down from first to second. 
at that time. Now they're down to third as King with a wrister couldn't find the target. Koash poked at by Dalton. Jay, he's off to the races. Jay with a shot and he couldn't find the target. And now back the other way come the Rockers with numbers. The feed all the way across was partially deflected. Johnson, and only as far as the line as Colton keeps it alive. King out high to Colton, across to Koash. Colton again, Arista right into the catching glove of Makar Sokolov. Dalton Jay with a short-handed opportunity. He has two shorties this year, but couldn't find the target. It stays 1-0. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. I'm proud to serve farmers because everything they do matters. If I could choose one word to describe a farmer, I would say essential. Dedicated. Enterprising. The most creative people. They're providing food for the rest of the world. Some of the qualities I look for uh, when hiring is personality, perseverance, someone that's determined. We want to be able to hire someone that understands what we're supporting and ultimately that's the grower. Come fill McMoran Place at every Prowlers home game this season. General admission tickets are just $15 with discounts available for seniors, military, students, and children under 12. Upgrade your experience in one of our suites or bring the whole squad to the game with discounts for groups of 10 or more. Find your best option to visit the Thumb Coast professional hockey team by visiting phprowlers.com and find the tickets tab or call the box office at 810-985-6166. Secure your seats today. Minute 18 left on the holding penalty to Frank Schumacher. Rockers with one shot so far on the power play. Prowlers also credited with one. So I guess Ricky Gonzalez did get a piece of that Dalton J chance. Gonzalez has made a couple of outstanding looking saves in this game. They're fixing a stanchion down in the corner. One of them, a double pad stack on Brett Lockhart earlier on in this period. And now we're all set to go. Federley and Sneak on this faceoff. Rockers switch up their power play unit. They've Sneath, Vanderweel, Milam, Delaney, and Miguel Diaz. And Miguel Diaz all the way back in his own end to play it. I'm getting things thrown at me here by our in arena host, Sarah Dent. There's Delaney to Miguel Diaz. Back to TJ Delaney. Miguel Diaz, Delaney again. Arister deflects and it was blocked nicely by Federley. Hobbles back to his skates. Miguel Diaz, Milam walks back to the middle of the ice. Rister deflected wide. I think Sneath was the one who got a piece of it. And then McCardle jumps TJ Delaney. That's not easy to do. Delaney. Of course, six foot six. That pass came all the way through. Federley able to send it the length of the ice. He's hobbling to the Prowlers bench after blocking that shot. 15 seconds left to go in the man advantage for Motor City. Out comes Vanderweel with speed. Oh, down the right wing side, centering feed. Only found Chartrand. He fires it down and that will take care of the rest of the penalty, we're back to five on five. Josh Colton over to Rotundi. So both teams with relatively uninspired power plays. Although the Rockers did get a little bit more passing around than the Prowlers. Not much towards the net for either team though, as Johnson gets one towards the cage that time. That's steered to the corner by Gonzalez. Rotundi. Parsons turns it back the other way. Sim played it to an area. Skating into it was Colton. Koash dangles around Parsons. Plays it up the strong side. Rotundi across to Colton. Winds, fires. That one didn't find anybody. 
Came all the way back through for Rotundi. He fires a shot, stopped by Sokolov. Chartrand kept Colton from going back towards the net. And now Dan Chartrand starting a rush. As Luber jumping in to join him. Sent it towards the net, stopped by Gonzalez. Colton collects the rebound. Chartrand trying to wrestle the puck from him. And Dan Chartrand is going to get a penalty. Hooking is the signal. And the Rockers right back to the man advantage. And exactly what I said would happen has happened. I said we had a clean first period, no penalties. And now here we are, not eight minutes into period two and already our third one of the frame. The Rockers back to the power play. It's TJ Sneath with his unit out there. Uh, Jeremy Rancourt able to win the face off away from him and Lockhart off the glass all the way down. Prowlers have Rancourt, Jay, Lockhart, and Schumacher for this kill. And at least to start as Sneath works his way in. Delaney fired a pass across. Vanderweel down to Sneath. Try to fire it to the backside post. Dalton Jay hustling after it as Rancourt going towards the net but couldn't get it through to him. Rancourt dropped for Jay, but Schumacher jumped into the zone too quickly offside against the Prowlers. Thirty-three seconds gone on the penalty to Dan Chartrand. Both teams switch things up, and Evan Foley gets set for this base off against Jonathan Giuliano. Giuliano wins it back. King, D to D to Colton. Around the net, watched by DeCumbis. Colton works his way over to the far side. Drop pass, laying King. This time. Up the left wing, he'll dump it around. Johnson and Colton get there together. Giuliano out high. Coash across to Conway, gets it back. Colton and Coash, they play catch. Colton has it again. Now Lane King on the near side. Walks to the middle of the ice, fumbled the puck. He gets it back from Colton again. Rister right into Sokolov, no rebound. 44 seconds left in the Rockers power play. Both teams again making changes. That was the first shot on net for the Rockers during this man advantage. Prowlers up on shots for the period so far, six to three and 21-10 for the game. They tie up behind the net, chipped around by Luber. Now Milan from the side boards. And a tip wide by Vanderweel. He was all alone on the backside. Milam faked the drive down to Delaney. Milam on it again, has a good shot. He'll pass it off. And McGill Diaz hit his own man, Vanderweel, with that shot. Sim chips it past. Milam has a man going to net. Sim in front. And a good stick by a rocker defender on the back check. Not sure if that was Milo or McGill Diaz who got it. Sokolov covers up that puck just as the penalty expires. And the PKs for both teams stay perfect tonight. Prowlers two for two and the Rockers one for one. We'll see if we can get a little five on five hockey going here. Top line for the Prowlers out there right now. Rockers have Bit of a broken line, Gullo, Svinsov, and Smith. Rotundi couldn't keep that puck alive. Played back to Colton. And Brian Parsons sees it bounce back to Lockhart. Scantleberry rims it around. Delay it off sides against the Prowlers. They touch up, meanwhile Svinsov Gives it over to Colton. Lead pass tipped along. And now it's Parsons. Lockhart, rink wide feed, cut off by Svinsov. They regroup with Rotundi. Colton up to Smith. 
Played it to an area, taken away by Dalton Jay. Jay makes a move, hands off to Connor Foley. To the middle of the ice, couldn't get that one on net. And then that one pinballs. Over to the near side corner. Lead pass is on for Koash from the outside. Couldn't find the target. Prowlers wanted too many men on the ice. Call Milam tripped up by the referee, Paul G. Connor Foley to Skittleberry. Stopped by Gonzalez for a whistle and a face off as Milam hit the deck. Chaos ensuing. The net was shoved off by Milam. As he and Paul Jean ran into each other, Connor Foley waited as long as he could, finally got it back to Scantleberry for an outside shot. We'll take a break, 9.08 to go in period two. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. Nine oh eight left to go in period two. Danny Vanderweel to the locker room after he had a shot hit him on the way through to the net during that Rockers power play. He's off the ice along with the Rockers trainer. Meanwhile, just before that TV timeout, Milam was trying to back check and he ran into Paul Jean. That gave the Prowlers an opportunity, but they couldn't take advantage. And you know what? That's a that's a textbook hit from Paul Jean. That's right. That's just how they teach it in youth hockey. So you know, good job by Paul Jean. Great hit by him. Here come the Rockers. George Holt tried a centering feed. Johnson got in the way of it. McCardle on to Federley. McCardle joining the rush. Four Prowlers off ice. They can't get anything going. Koash spins a pass towards Holt. Hustling after it, watched by Jay. Holt gave it right to Rencourt. And now Dalton Jay. Makes a move. Gives it up to Rencourt. Has Federley, gives it there. Lost the handle though and sent back out. That one will just slip all the way down for icing against Motor City. The Prowlers offensive zone face off coming with under eight and a half to go here in the Hungry Howie's second period. Evan Foley's line on for Port Huron, trying to take advantage of the icing call. As Schumacher dumps this one around, Chartrand fighting around McGill Diaz to get to the puck. Schumacher across to Luber. On net, in and out of the glove of Gonzalez. He tried to bat it away, but Decumbus had his back to the net. So instead he was able to cover up. B. Decumbus has been hot as of late. He scored in each of his last three appearances. Has six this season. He scored against Binghamton and Baton Rouge as well as Columbus. Chartrand tried to send it towards the net. That was cut off. Foley rimmed it around. And now Evan Foley centering feet to Cumbus, he scores! How about four straight appearances with a goal for number 23 and the Prowlers are up two to nothing. 
They'll call that a good announcer's jinx. As Vinny DeGumbas gets his seventh of the season and goals in four straight games for him. Nice pass out of the corner by Evan Foley right on the tape. And Vinny DeCumbis heating up at the right time. If we've learned one thing in this season series, no lead is safe for either of these teams. Throughout the year, I, when I was going through all the games that they've played so far between each other this season, I didn't count them up exactly, but there had to have been in the 16 games coming into this one, there had to have been at least nine or 10 multi-goal leads that were erased by one team or the other. Prowler's hoping not to squander this one. That one popped towards the net and tipped over top of the cage. McCardle in to rescue it. And now Johnson settles things down. Evan Foley and Dan Chartrand picking up the assist, second helper of the game for both of them. Connor Foley a shot, and it's kicked out by Ricky Gonzalez. Excuse me, just second of the game for Dan Chartrand. Here comes Connor Foley, teammates to join him. His shot off the back glass, McCardo banged it back on net. Conway. Over Motor City right now. As again, Dan Chartrand with his second helper of the night. And Evan Foley finding the score sheet back from his upper body injury. Well, it's bounced out by Gullo. Frank Court over to Federley. Rocker is able to begin a chance. Dumped right in on Gonzalez, he'll glove it and make sure his team has exactly who they want on the ice. Another offensive zone faceoff for the Prowlers who have been buzzing over the past couple of minutes, especially since that last TV timeout. Trying to continue the momentum. Federley knocked down in the corner. McGill Diaz slides a pass through towards Gullo off his stick. Prowlers move back the other direction. Colton off the boards. Gullo couldn't move it out. Now here's Avery Smith turning it on to McGill Diaz. Watched by Parsons, forced back. Lays it down the wall towards Gullo. Colton out high and the save made by Sokolov on Avery Smith. Miguel Diaz turns on Federley. A rocker was knocked down in front of the net. The net actually moved. I think it's right back where it's supposed to be, so we'll play on. Slides back to Rocker Ice. Brawler's trying to get a quick change going. Miguel Diaz, quick up to Giuliano. Backhander stopped by Sokolov, juggled to the corner. And out comes Decumbus with a head of steam. Vinny Decumbus shot it wide. Luber back at center. Schumacher up towards Decumbus. Evan Foley couldn't slip past a couple of defenders. So it's sent right back in. Decumbus up the wall. Milam takes it away. Delaney to the middle of the ice. Smitsov couldn't get a shot off. Now Rotundi back towards the net. Stopped by Sokolov. The net was off its moorings. Sokolov made the save anyway. And we'll get a whistle. 5.07 to go in period two. And now some chaos in the Prowler's end. Rockers trying to get themselves on the score sheet. 
Shots right now, 10-5 for the Prowlers in this period at 25-12 for the game. There's the faceoff coming to Sokolov's right. The cage secured. They'll try it again as Shartran jumped too quick. This time it's one back by Foley to Luber. Tecumbus has skating room and he'll take it. Closed off by Sneath, so he'll dump it around. Milam. Trying to work it up the board. Excuse me, that was Miguel Diaz. Now here's Jamie Milam. Turning in the corner, his pass out. Tipped out of the zone by Sneath. Luber puts it right back in. McGill Diaz. Watched by Scantleberry. Up to Conway. Long range try. Blockered up in the air and then caught by Makar Sokolov. Little juggling act from the Prowlers netminder. We'll take a break. 4.31 to go in period two. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. At Hungry Howie's, we're famous for flavor. And this is our chief flavor officer. Every hour of every day, our CFO obsesses over the tastiest ingredients, combining them to create new flavor combinations your taste buds never knew they needed until now. Introducing his latest master pizza, the Pepperoni Duo. A delicious combination of classic cut pepperoni, original pepperoni, 100% mozzarella cheese, and our famous flavored crust. Two kinds of pepperoni, all kinds of delicious. Hungry Howie's. Tick over, four and a half left in Hungry Howie's second period. Prowlers with a two to nothing lead, thanks to a Vinny DeCumbus goal in this period. But the Rockers have had the better of the play the last minute or so. A couple of good chances in down on Makar Sokolov's end. See if the Prowlers can get something going here offensively, but as they move up ice, Milam is down on the ice. Prowlers don't like that the whistle was blown unless there's a penalty coming to Port Huron. And it looks like there is. As Tucker Scantleberry is heading to the box. He and Milam got tangled up. I didn't see exactly what the infraction was. He and Milam got tangled up along the boards. And maybe Skittleberry's stick coming up high. That is exactly what the call is. High sticking against Tucker Skittleberry. So, 4.22 to go in period two. Rockers with their third man advantage of the period. Prowlers have had one so far. Neither team had any in the opening 20 minutes. So Rockers up now on power plays, three to one. As Koash collects at the point. Colton down to King. On the left wing half wall, looks to feed the middle of the ice. That was blocked by a stick. It's a Cummins' clearing attempt kept in by Colton. That pass taken away by Federley. He's able to get it all the way down. And that will kill off some time. Josh Colton up to Giuliano. Into offensive territory looking towards King. One hands it on net. And Sokolov ready for it. And he got the glove on top. Minute 26 left on the man advantage for Motor City. The Rockers switch up their unit. Neath and Rencourt 
set for this faceoff. They tie up there, a couple of players come in to try and dig it free, Delaney able to, and get it out high. Milam walks the line, back to Delaney, Rister blocked by Frank Schumacher. Pass to the middle of the ice, and McCardle comes sliding in, to take away a chance from TJ Sneath. Jay, knocked down by McGill Diaz, and back come the Rockers. Vanderweel, left it for McGill Diaz, Jay tied him up, and McCardle lays it off the glass all the way down. 52 seconds left on the Rockers' power play. McCar Johnson, excuse me, stepped up at the red line. Now it's Sneath, centering feed, bounces away. Chartrand goes down along with his man. It bounced up, it's bounced up. Chartrand in, a drive stopped by Gonzalez. He didn't know where the rebound was. Foley got a whack at it. But Gonzalez able to hang on for a whistle and a faceoff. And now Miguel Diaz and Chartrand getting into it. Prowlers had numbers up ice shorthanded. That one was very close to offsides, but they stayed on thanks to Alex Johnson stretching the quads. Maybe some midweek yoga responsible for Johnson able to stay on sides there. Prowlers with offensive zone face off. Chartrand couldn't pick that puck up. Here comes Conway as Kowash sent it there off his skate. Johnson steps up on him. Chartrand finds the puck, goes up the glass all the way down. That'll likely take care of the rest of the Rockers' power play. Here's King with one last rush on it. He's taken down and the Rockers will go right back to the man advantage. As Chartrand went spinning to the ice, took out King's skates and the fourth power play of the game for Motor City. It will be a five on three for two seconds and then a full five on four immediately after. The Prowlers down one of their penalty killers. Scantleberry set to step out onto the ice. Federley, Johnson, and McCardle out there right now. And a fake drop. They'll try it again. One back by the Rockers. Milam faked the one time. And Miguel Diaz took it and is punched away by Sokolov. Scantleberry back on the ice. Five on four. Milam looks to walk up high. Up to Delaney is Rister. Hit Austin Federley. And Scantleberry just able to get it up the dash here and out. Milam closed off by Scantleberry. He's able to work it to McGill Diaz who sends Sneath on his way. Now Delaney down towards Vanderweel, around towards Sneath. Sneath played it up the wall. Scantleberry diving effort, able to just get it out of the zone. Milam bangs it around. Delaney picks it up on the other side. Out high, McGill Diaz looking towards Colton. They didn't connect, Colton has it now. At center point, Josh Colton. Spinning as he's watched by Dalton J. It's a pass down to Conway. Sokolov tripped as he was sliding across and it ended up taking the net out. He lifted the net a little bit. Sokolov checking his skate. As he was moving across, he stumbled. 54 seconds left to go on the penalty to Dan Chartrand. They'll secure the net back in place. Sokolov was checking his skate as he took a lap to the corner. Prowler's unable to change, of course. And we'll get a face off again. Rancourt and Giuliano. 
Raincourt tried to win it back. It was jumped by Conway. And now Dalton Jay's off to the races. Another shorthanded chance, but this time the shot eaten up by Lane King stick out of play. Prowler's trying to spring rushes here short-handed. We've seen it three times at least in this second period on the four rocker power plays. 46 seconds left in the fourth one. This face off, one back cleanly by Port Huron. Lockhart sends it off the wall. King gave it away to Tristan Sim as he got nothing on that pass and Lockhart Sends it all the way down. Under a minute to go in period two. Prowlers with a two nothing lead. Kowash gave it up to King. Trying to dance his way towards the net. Centering feed, Conway stoned by Makar Sokolov. Colton walks the line, Rister and Sokolov another save. King in the corner. Down to Conway. Back to five on five. Declan Conway trying to pass to the front and it pinballs home. Sokolov played the pass over to the far side but it hits something in the slot and Declan Conway will take that one. 20.3 to go in period two. Rockers are on the board. After a great save by Sokolov robbing Conway on the Rockers' best chance of the period and of the game so far, but that one takes a Motor City bounce. And the Rockers back in it in the final minute of period two. Svintsov looking for more, but he fanned on his attempt to the net. Scantleberry took a big bump. And now Luber. Up to Freeboard. Lead pass, Skittleberry with three. Takes the shot, stopped by Gonzalez. And they'll stop the clock with two tenths of a second on it. And Gullo going after Liam Freeboard. They'll pull Makar Sokolov for this faceoff. Now Skittleberry getting a shove from Tristan Wells. Want to make sure you stay around for the second intermission report. We have the Continental catch up as well as the Prowler's upcoming schedule. All coming up on the second intermission report here on the PHP network just as soon as we play this final two tenths of a second. Sokolov on the bench. And the face off is dropped and that will do it for period number two and Tristan Wells being pointed back to his bench by Paul Jean. Once again, second intermission report coming up here on the PHP network, the Continental catch up, all the news and highlights from around the Continental division from this past week. Also take a look at the Prowler's upcoming schedule, playoff hockey. We have the dates, times, and locations. So stick around for that out of town scoreboard and much more. It's all coming up right here on the PHP network. But the Prowlers with a 2 1 lead through 40 minutes. Well, secure your seats for the Prowlers' next home game. It's game one of the Commissioner's Cup playoffs as they host the Carolina Thunderbirds on Friday, April 19th with puck drop scheduled for 7.05 p.m. Tickets are available at phprowlers.com slash playoffs. You can call the box office at 810-985-6166 or scan that QR code on your screen now to experience Prowlers playoff hockey. Be loud and cheer the Prowlers to a playoff win. That's online at phprowlers.com slash playoffs. Or call the box office 810-985-6166 or scan that QR code on your screen now. Commissioner's Cup playoffs are coming. Don't miss a second of the action here at McBoran Place. 
We'll take a break when we come back. The Continental Ketchup right here on the PHP Network. I've worked at Pioneer and now Corteva for 36 years. It goes by very quickly. This is a pretty noble profession for your giving back to humanity. Curiosity is so important. I learn something new every day. What's that next challenge that may occur for farmers? You do really feel like you've got an impact on what's coming. I can see how we're making things better. And we have the best solutions for our farmers. And I think we're here to feed and fuel the world. I'm proud to be part of that culture and I'm proud to be part of the company. At Hungry Howie's, we're famous for flavor, and this is our chief flavor officer. Every hour of every day, our CFO obsesses over the tastiest ingredients, combining them to create new flavor combinations your taste buds never knew they needed until now. Introducing his latest master pizza, the Pepperoni Duo, a delicious combination of classic cut pepperoni, original pepperoni, 100% mozzarella cheese, and our famous flavored crust. Two kinds of pepperoni, all kinds of delicious. Hungry? Howie's! Keep up with your Prowlers all season long on social media. Follow us on Facebook at the Port Huron Prowlers, Instagram at PH Prowlers, and Twitter at PH Prowlers. And you can find more information on our website, phprowlers.com. got a ticket from phprowlers.com. I should have just bought tickets at phprowlers.com. I got it! I should have just got a ticket at phprowlers.com. I should have got a ticket at phprowlers.com. They should have just got tickets at phprowlers.com.
Lahedka, left wing, bounced it too far for Swan, but Storjahan down to the right side. Storjahan forcing it in front to Swan, he scores! What a great pass! Storjahan right on the tape for Swan, kept his stick on the ice and taps it in. Moore feeds it into the middle. Looking for Shinkarik. That was picked off. Martin sends it ahead for Daly. Daly dangles through a couple of defenders. Here's Danny Martin. Score! Danny Martin puts Colgan down and out in the blender and into the back of the net. 2 nothing, Bobcats. McHugh will speed ahead. McHugh walks in. Andrioli score! Andrioli burns his former team and restores the two goal lead. 3 1. To lock over to Kramer with 14 seconds left to go. Kramer at the four half boards finds Ford to Salaka one timer and he scores. With 8.6 seconds left to go here in period number one, Jan Salak gets his 22nd of the season. It comes on the power play and Carolina takes a two to one lead here late in the first. Keeley kicks it along, it's taken away. Going the other way, Connor Mullins. Pass gets deflected, now here's a stretch pass here. Schnapp all alone on a breakaway. Schnapp to the forehand, a save, it's still loose. Rebound, accepted, and he scores! Throws it out in front. Seolik finds it. His shot goes wide on the near side. Kennedy racing after it. Able to send it along. Kennedy picks it up out in front. On the back end, he scores!
one blocked off the foot there of Bond, and out it goes, and boy, he's struggling. River Dragons push right back in. Here's Moore. He's got Sorge hung on the net. Moore, and he scores! Kyle Moore, toe drag, top shelf, power play goal. It's 6-2 Columbus. Seven two, Columbus in the lead. Back at the left side, Wong. He's shouldered off by Popoff, and now the other way is Austin Doe. Stops at the line. Cross ice feed, walking in. Krupp, he scores. Jay Krupp's got the hat trick. Wrapping up the second intermission here at McLaurin Place. It's a 2-1 score in favor of the Prowlers in game 55 of 56 for both teams this season. Will Wiggleman back with you on the PHP Network. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. And before we take a look back at this game so far, let's look at all the games going on around the league with our out of town scoreboard. And we start with the Watertown Wolves who seem to be tanking their season. They're down three to nothing to the Blue Ridge Bobcats right now. Zach Tattern, Vlasov, Vladis, Vladislav Vlasov, and Jackson Bohan have the goals for Blue Ridge. Watertown won't be eliminated if they lose this game, but a win would have given them the opportunity to control their own destiny tomorrow. These team, those teams match up again tomorrow. The Elmira River Sharks will be taking on the Binghamton Black Bears who are currently trailing the Danbury Hat Tricks two to nothing in Danbury. Johnny Ruiz has both for the defending champs who are trying to secure a home ice advantage and they can do so if the Rockers don't pick up a point this weekend and the Hat Tricks win in regulation. So keep an eye on that one. Columbus River Dragons have a 2-1 lead on the Carolina Thunderbirds in a game that doesn't matter all that much as far as seeding goes. Alexander Jermayev put the Dragons ahead with a power play goal midway through period one since the last time we looked at that score. And finally, the Mississippi Seawolves up 2-1 on the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Jackson Vaughn has both goals for the Seawolves, and if I'm reading this box score correctly, Seawolves with two goals on two shots, and over 11 minutes gone in that game at the Raising Canes River Center. And of course here, it is 2-1 in favor of the Prowlers. Well, playoff hockey is coming, and it's coming next week, as the Carolina Thunderbirds will come into town for game one for the third straight year. 7.05 puck drop here at McMoran Place. Then they'll head down to Winston-Salem for game two. That will be a 7.30 p.m. puck drop at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex or Fairgrounds Arena or whatever they're calling it now. I believe the name changed at some point. But that will all be happening next week, and of course that is after the Prowlers and Rockers play tomorrow night in the finale of each of their regular seasons. As both teams get set for playoff action. Taking a look at the stats from this game so far, Rockers 0 for 4 on the man advantage, Prowlers 0 for 1, but the Rockers able to get a goal just as the power play expired late in that period as Declan Conway was looking towards the back post. Conway got robbed by Sokolov earlier on in the sequence. And he found it at the point, 
and try to make a pass across. It hit somebody who was standing in the slot and rainbowed over top as Sokolov was playing the pass. It's a tough bounce for the Prowlers, a good one for the Rockers, and gets Motor City right back in this game. Prowlers have outplayed the Rockers for long stretches of this game so far. And we'll see if that continues in period number three. And I've gotten an indication that we may see a goaltending change for the Prowlers going into this third period. I don't know the reasoning why it might be, and we'll know for sure when the Prowlers come out of the tunnel, but I did get an indication that that might be the case heading into period number three. Ian Wallace, the backup tonight for, for Huron. The Prowlers with a 2-1 lead. Vinny DeCumbis with goals in four straight appearances. And he has the second one for the Prowlers tonight. And he got in that middle frame as the referees are hitting the ice here at McMoran Place. We look again at our PHP Network trivia question. As last weekend, the Prowlers completed the season series sweep of the Zydeco. We wanted to know what Port Huron's record against the three expansion teams in the FPHL were. If you need a reminder, that is Baton Rouge, Elmira, and Blue Ridge. So through 12 games against those three teams, Prowlers 10, 2, and 0. In those 12 games, a very good record against the expansion teams this season. As it is, in fact, Ian Wallace leading the Prowlers onto the ice for period number three. Makar Sokolov takes a seat on the bench, and you know it's the last weekend of the regular season. Prowlers don't have much to play for, so I'm more than I'm about certain that this is just to give Ian Wallace a little bit of playing time, but that gives me the indication that Oscar Walgren will get the start tomorrow. But Sokolov gets himself a break after 17 saves on 18 Rockers shots through 40 minutes of play. And Ian Wallace with an opportunity here in period number three. Sokolov currently has the win in his back pocket, but that can certainly change. It is whoever the goaltender of record is when the game winning goal is scored currently. If the game were to hold where it is right now, the game winning goal would be Vinny DeCumbas' second period tally. Kurt Ricky Gonzalez in the goal crease, two hour left. He made 25 saves on 27 Prowler shots so far, and he is back for period number three. They soft down, we're underway in the third. Little toe drag from Austin Federley and a quick shot. Knocked down by Gonzalez and the rebound pushed wide by Dalton J. Milam up the boards. Tried to kick it along. McGill Diaz rims it all the way around. Luber kept it alive. Batted back over to the near side. Delaney with a backhand or out. Cut off by a couple of Prowler sticks. Schumacher bounces it back in as Port Huron gets a change. Let's go Prowler's chance coming down from the crowd. Blowing a tire was Spinsov. Tried to back pass to Milo. Centering feed was taken away from Decumbus as Miguel Diaz got his stick in the way. Now a three on two for Motor City if they hurry. Spinsov back to Milam. He dumps it around. Avery Smith first on it on the near side. Couldn't center. Poked out to neutralize Milam. Over to Smith. And he dumps it in. Lockhart up the boards. Smith has it between his skates. Couple of prowlers digging for it. It comes out to Shirtrand. And now the Cumbus works his way in, stops up, 
Fed it across towards Evan Foley. Kicked off his skate. Wells rims it up the near side. Parsons waiting for it. Over to Lockhart. Down and around behind the net. Wells steps out. Kowash's pass couldn't find Gullo. And Chartrand softly to Skettleberry on the indirect pass. Tried to rim it back up the boards. Gullo got in front. And Wells starts up. Ice long range try in the first save for Ian Wallace in this game. Comes just over two minutes into period three. That is the second shot of the period for either side. One apiece as we get our first stoppage of play in period three. Off this face off, Colton through traffic, kicked out by Wallace. Prowlers look to work the other way. Freeborn lost an edge. Now Connor Foley back to Freeborn, the one-timer. Stopped by Gonzalez. As falling down actually afforded Liam Freeborn a little bit of open space as the Rockers went away from him. He's able to get a good shot off. Connor Foley and TJ Sneath on this draw. They'll try it again. Freeborn, of course, the Prowlers leader in goals, assists, and points. 25 goals, 34 assists, 59 points this season. And he's looking for another one. And another save by Ricky Gonzalez. He had 42 points in 32 games last season after joining the Prowlers midway through the year. And he's been here for most of this season. More than last year, he's emerged as the top scoring threat for the Prowlers all season long. Playing top line minutes all year. He developed some good chemistry with Matt Graham and Austin Federley before Graham went down with injury. Still plays a lot with Federley, but not tonight. As Dalton Jay works his way back in, tried to slip it through to Sim. Where it's sent all the way down by Colton. And that is a nice thing against the Rockers. This base off will go down to Gonzalez's left. Rancourt getting this opportunity uh, against Jonathan Giuliano. Won it back. Lubert's quick shot was blocked down with traffic. And Sim muscled to the ice by Colton. Spinsov chipped it past Luber. They head after it. Jay almost beat them both there. Schumacher tried a backhander. That was blocked down. Came back to him. And this time able to slip it to Dalton Jay. Sim on to Rencourt. Into offensive territory. That ducks away from the oncoming Ryan Rotundi. He was looking to line him up, stepping across the middle of the ice. Giuliano, trying to centering feed, taken away. Here's Evan Foley with speed. Uh, the Prowler is upside at the line. 16.33 to go in period three. And we just saw Jeremy Rancourt try and dodge a bullet there. He looked back to see if there was anyone with him. There wasn't, and he looked back in front of him, and then he saw Rotundi coming right for him and he bailed out. Made a business decision and I don't blame him. Avoids the big contact. Here comes Avery Smith. Looking on Lockhart. I just sent it towards the net. Prowlers didn't let it get there. And Decumbus chips it along. Back after it. But Smith able to get it back to Milam. Smith rims it around for Koash. Dumped right out. Lockhart. Out of the zone. Smith looking for Gullo. And Evan Foley takes it away and plays it back to Parsons. 
Lockhart on to Scantleberry. Lockhart joining him on this rush. Scantleberry shot saved by Gonzalez. And nobody there for the rebound for the Prowlers. Port Huron was in the midst of a change. McCardle behind his own net. Runs over TJ Sneath as he made the pass off. Freeborn across to the far side. Scantleberry sent it towards the cage. Gonzalez jumped out four, couldn't get it. But neither could Connor Foley as it's batted out of the zone by Conway. McCardle stops back over to Johnson. Scantleberry trying to muscle his way through Conway. And offsides against the Prowlers and a penalty coming up. Hooking is the signal. And it looks like the Prowlers will be going to their second quality power play of the night. As Declan Conway is heading to the box. It's an opportunity for Port Huron to get a little bit of insurance. 0 for 1 on the man advantage so far tonight. Rancourt and Giuliano on this faceoff. Comes to the wall, Rotundi off the glass all the way down. And a good start to the kill for Motor City. Delaney dumped his man behind the net. That was Luber. Play continues as Delaney fires it all the way back to his own end to waste more time. Rotundi rims it up the boards. Prowlers cut it off. Centering pass to Sim. Didn't take the shot. And that pass by Rencourt. Off a of body and out of play. Minute 31 left on the Prowlers power play. We'll have it for you when we come back. You're watching Port Huron Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. I'm proud to serve farmers because everything they do matters. If I could choose one word to describe a farmer, I would say essential. Dedicated. Enterprising. The most creative people. They're providing food for the rest of the world. Some of the qualities I look for uh, when hiring is personality, Perseverance, someone that's determined. We want to be able to hire someone that understands what we're supporting, and ultimately that's the grower. Come fill McMoran Place at every Prowler's home game this season. General admission tickets are just $15 with discounts available for seniors, military, students, and children under 12. Upgrade your experience in one of our suites, or bring the whole squad to the game with discounts for groups of 10 or more. Find your best option to visit the Thumb Coast professional hockey team by visiting phprowlers.com and find the tickets tab, or call the box office at 810-985-6166. Secure your seats today. Back here at McMore in place. Minute 31 left to go on the Prowlers power play. 14.39 left in period number three as the Prowlers with the one goal lead on the Motor City Rocker and a chance to get some insurance and extend the advantage as we are getting set for another faceoff to Gonzalez's right. Connor Foley and Scott Koash on this faceoff. Fans reacting to a video from all the Prowlers players thanking them on Fan Appreciation Night here at McMoran Place. Scantleberry out high, and the shot goes wide off the stick of Liam Freeborn. And Johnson's pass picked off by Svinsov. Puck sent all the way down. Wallace left it for Alex Johnson. Halfway through the Prowlers man advantage, Freeborn tried to dance his way in. Now Connor Foley with it to the net, and he caught the post. I think Gonzalez got a piece and so did the iron. It stays out. Rockers looking for a shorthanded break, but Wallace comes all the way out to play it. Jumps in to the outside towards Scantleberry. Couldn't keep the puck in the zone, has to wait for Johnson to come back onside. Played over to towards three Prowlers. None of them could get the puck. And 30 seconds left to go on the Prowlers power play. They'll make some changes. Luber steps out, finds to Cumbus. Now across to Evan Foley. Drop for Lockhart. 
Foley again. Now Luber at the top. Puck was on edge, now he wrists it. And off a body and wide. Comes all the way back down to Prowler Rice. That's going to do it for the Prowler's power play. 0 for 2 on the night. Here's Lockhart streaking into to come. It's back to Lockhart. And I'm not sure if Gonzalez got it in the splits or if it hit the side of the cage. Now the lead pass on to Conway and he scores. So a chance on one end for the Prowlers. They can't convert. And Declan Conway ties the score on the other. 20th of the year for Conway. And some frustration on the Prowlers bench after that. I don't think Lockhart was expecting the pass back across from Decumbus. He didn't have his stick down, he wasn't ready, but. And the lead pass came all the way for Conway with a step, he beats Wallace, blocker's side. That's just the third shot of the period for Motor City, third shot that Wallace has faced. And it was a breakaway. Conway makes good on it. Quick up, tipped in by Gullo. Wallace left it there for Parsons, giveaway. As the Rockers in hard on the four check, Rancourt finally settles down the puck. And it's bounced up to Jay. Works his way out onto Rancourt. He stops up in offensive territory, fires a pass across. That federally collects off the boards. Rim back around, Parsons waits for it there. Cycled it to Rancourt, and now out high, Parsons has a lane to the net. Rister stopped by Gonzalez, and a penalty coming up against Ryan Rotundi as he dumped Austin federally in front of the cage. Tripping is the signal, and the Prowlers back to the man advantage. Now in a tie game. They're 0 for 2 so far with the power play and they'll send out the unit led by Alex Johnson. Twelve oh four to go here in period three. Danny Vanderweel picking up the only assist on the goal by Conway. Connor Foley and TJ Sneath ready for this face off. Johnson having a chat with Jonathan Sitarski, the referee. And now we're ready to go. Off this face off, pushed back to Freeborn at the line, but he couldn't keep it in as the puck was bouncing on him. Johnson back across the freeboard. Prowler's back in on sides, but it's taken away and sent down ice. Johnson to McCardle, touched along. But Miguel Diaz stepped in front. Delaney in, taken away by the Prowlers. Liam Freeborn on to Scantleberry. 30 seconds gone on the Prowlers' man advantage as they set up. McCardle bounced around to Scantleberry, kept it moving up to Freeborn. Johnson at the point. Down low and it tipped wide by Scantleberry on the shot pass by Alex Johnson. Connor Foley over to Scantleberry, backdoor feed and McCardle didn't get all he wanted on that one. Backdoor play, saved by Gonzalez on Scantleberry. Johnson keeps it in at the line, over to Freeborn, but pass too tough to handle. Quickly back across come the Prowlers. Pass to Scantleberry, knocked out of the air by McGill Diaz. Connor Foley lost it, Federley kept it alive. Freeborn down to Scantleberry. Right, a centering feed, caught up in a few bodies. Freeborn keep, or Federley keeps it in, Luber a one-time blast. That's kicked out by Gonzalez. 25 to go on the power play. Prowlers buzzing. Scantleberry out to Freeborn. Couldn't find the target. Luber keeps it in again. Pass across though off of Koash's skate. Comes out of the zone. Final 10 seconds. Ticking off the Prowlers power play. Federley back in. 
And all the way around, Sim picks it up on the other side. To the net, Connor Foley just chopped it wide. Lockhart, down behind the net, popped up in the air. Lockhart gloves it down. He's in deep, looking towards Connor Foley, batted away, kept in again at the line. Connor Foley, Lockhart, off the post! Luber back towards the net, Dink had only wanted on it. And another penalty away from the play, another trip in front of the Rockers net. This time it's Vanderweel for taking down Tristan Sim. And the Prowlers did everything on that last man advantage except score all kinds of time in the offensive zone. And they'll get a chance to chat before this next man advantage, 9.42 to go. In period number three, we'll take a break. You're watching Port here on Prowlers Hockey on the PHP Network. Third power play of the night coming up for the Prowlers. Or fourth power play, actually, I should say. Third of this third period for Port Huron. And so far through the two power plays that they've had in this frame. A couple of, they have four shots. And they were buzzing on that last man advantage. They send out the unit led by Jeremy Rancourt. He wins the faceoff back to Austin Federley. Just did keep it in at the line. Luber walks in. Thought about a shot. Instead, he'll peel back. Federley back to Luber. Gives down to DeCumbis. Tried to hand it back off. And now a penalty coming up. Interference is the call. Looks like it's going against the Prowlers. We'll see who's going to the box. Uh, looks to be Vinny DeCumbis. So that kills the Prowlers' man advantage. Just 17 seconds into it. So we'll play a minute 43 of four on four and then a very brief Rockers power play. They have DeCumbis in the box. Lockhart is listed on my penalty sheet. And now it looks like they fixed it. So it is Vinny DeCumbis, two for interference. And we have some four on four action, plenty of open ice for the good skaters on both sides. Dalton Jay is one of them. He has the puck now, Foley heading towards the net. He tried to float it there. Moved along. Luber keeps it alive down towards Evan Foley. Hop past him. And Delaney works his way out back towards Milam. Curls back away from Dalton J. Nick McGill Diaz over to Milam. Drops it back off for McGill Diaz. Jonathan Giuliano enters offensive territory. Blew it tires, he curled back. He's still able to get the puck across to Delaney. Milam fakes the drive down to Delaney. Steps to the middle of the ice, couldn't get a shot off. Johnson starting a rush out. Prowlers have numbers. Johnson works his way in to the middle of the ice. A backhander stopped by Gonzalez. The rebound sits there at the side of the net. And finally, McGill Diaz in to take it. 35 seconds left in four on four. 
The head man feed ends up rimming all the way around towards Schumacher. And Chase McCardo revs the engines. He gets in, his shot stopped by Gonzalez. Rebound out to Schumacher and a block by Lane King there. He'll have to head to the bench. That hobbled him a bit. Scantleberry back in around the net. Locked up there with Rotundi. Pulled out to the point, it's McCardo. Makes a move. Freeborn backdoor play looking towards Scantleberry. He go and find the puck. Right now it's a Rockers power play for another 10 seconds. That one chipped in. And there was a loud whistle from somewhere in the crowd. I think that got everybody. It was a very loud whistle. It sounded like it was on this side of the stands. I don't know where it came from. And now they have to make an announcement about not blowing whistles at a hockey game where whistles are very important to the play on the ice. Two seconds left in this Rockers man advantage. 7.28 to go in period three. See where they drop the puck. It looks like it will be just outside of Prowler territory. Dacomba is set to jump out of the box here. And face off one forward by Rancourt. Now we're back to five on five. Rancourt across to Lockhart. Drop back to Parsons. Weaves his way in, dumps it in, and heads after it. Tecumbus tried to push it back to Lockhart, did get it there. Now Rancourt, a one-timer from the line. Stopped by Gonzalez, and then the rebound just hopped past Austin Federley. And Federley hit hard by Danny Vanderweel. He's slow to his skates. Prowlers fans are livid about it. And now Parsons grabbing Danny Vanderweel. And it's all going to break loose in the corner as Austin Federley is slow back to the Prowlers bench under his own power. He took a bump from Coash, and then Vanderweel lined him up. And Parsons now engaging with Avery Smith who grabbed Parsons after he grabbed the Rockers captain, Vanderweel. Parsons and Smith over to the penalty boxes. 6.46 to go here in period three. Surely the Prowlers are going to want an explanation on why there wasn't a penalty when Austin Federley got knocked down. He's back on the Prowler bench. From our indications, he seems to be all right. Meeting of the minds going on at the referee's circle. And another meeting of the minds down by both benches. We will play four on four, it looks like, for two minutes. Parsons and Smith in the penalty boxes. And the faceoff will be outside of Prowler territory. We'll let you know as soon as the penalties come down on the penalty sheet or if they're announced here, exactly what they are. Parsons and Smith, the only two in the penalty boxes. And unsportsmanlike conduct to each of them. And those are coincidental, and that's why we have four on four hockey. Chase McCardo dances his way through. And it's taken away, and then McCardo throws a hit on Giuliano. Giuliano left it behind. Here comes McCardo with a shot. Just whistled it wide on the near side. Connor Foley digging away. It's taken by Milam. Prowler's in the midst of a change. Milam drops it off for Giuliano, who gives it back. 
two elder statesmen on this Rockers team. Snaith taken in hard to the wall by Brett Lockhart. That gets cheers from the Prowler faithful. Under six to go in regulation. Rockers, from what I'm told, clinch the second seed in the continent or the Empire Division, pardon me, with a point. So they are very happy to let this one go to overtime. Skettleberry with a move to the net, gets around, had his stick slashed out of his hands, looking for a call that won't come. Now the pass to Lock, or Colton, excuse me, out of his reach. Lockhart beats him in the race. And with 5.25 to go in period three, we'll have an offensive zone face off for the Prowlers. 39 seconds left in the four on four as Scantleberry drove the net, the stick knocked out of his hands. He came back and he was looking for a penalty. Looking at both referees for a penalty. Now Liam Freeborn is being escorted off the ice. Tucker Scantleberry over to have a conversation with Jonathan Sitarski, the referee. So Freeborn's night seems to be over. He may have done a bit too much barking. Skittleberry back to the bench, flapping all the way. Frank Schumacher is having a word with Paul Jean at center. The booze raining down from the Prowlers faithful here at McPorn Place. Finally, we are set to go. All the way down on Ricky Gonzalez's end. And the fans voicing their displeasure for Paul Jean and Jonathan Satarski. To Combus and Koash on this face off. Koash wins it back. And now Rotundi. Again, we're still at four on four. As Colton. Plays it up to Conway, gets into offensive territory, looking towards Colton, who was free behind everyone going to the net. Couldn't get it there. Johnson moves it along to Schumacher. So 10 minute and game misconduct to Liam Freeborn for abuse of officials. His night is over. Rencourt chops it up towards Acumbus, over to Schumacher. Back towards Vinny DeCumbus, handcuffed him a little bit with the pass. We're back to five on five as Smith and Parsons step out of the penalty boxes. Meanwhile, that puck kicks out to center. Luber trying to play it away from Svinsov. Well, Schumacher settles things down, quick up, was knocked back. Svinsov working in on Luber. Smith and Rancourt come together, so does Schumacher. Battled for in the corner, Luber able to pull it back over to the near side of the ice and skate up. Dumped right in, Vanderweel off the glass all the way down and the whistle blows that puck over the glass out of play but no delay of game penalty as it hit the glass first. We'll take our final time out, four or five to go in period three of a tied hockey game. You're watching Port Huron Browers Hockey on the PHP Network. At Hungry Howie's, we're famous for flavor. And this is our chief flavor officer. Every hour of every day, our CFO obsesses over the tastiest ingredients, combining them to create new flavor combinations your taste buds never knew they needed until now. Introducing his latest master pizza, the Pepperoni Duo. A delicious combination of classic cut pepperoni, original pepperoni, 100% mozzarella cheese, and our famous flavored crust. Two kinds of pepperoni, all kinds of delicious. Hungry? Howie's!
We invite you to tune into our next broadcast tomorrow, Saturday, April 13th, when the Prowlers visit the Motor City Rockers. Puck drop is scheduled for 6.05 p.m. And the pregame show starts at 5.50. It's all right here on the PHP Network. That will be game 56 of 56 for both of these teams. As for this one, well, what do we tell you about multi-goal leads in this rivalry this season? Not safe. 2-0 lead for the Prowlers was not safe in this one. Declan Conway has the only goal this third period. That tied the game. And here we are, 4.05 left in period three. Rockers again will be just content to push this one to the horn and get overtime and get a point. Danbury Hattricks right now up 3-2 on the Binghamton Black Bears. They're in the second intermission. As they announce a crowd of 1,875 here at McMoran Place. The fan, fans have just been getting stronger as the season's gone along here. These last few home games have been loud and hope the energy stays like that for the playoffs. Prowlers certainly will need all the help they can get from the fans and all the energy they can get for game one on Friday against the Carolina Thunderbirds. You can get your tickets now at phprowlers.com slash playoffs. This face-off will be deep in Rockers territory after the icing. Johnson trying to feed it down low. Scantleberry kicks it to his stick. And it comes out to McCardle. Scantleberry tried to one-time it. It was bouncing. Scantleberry curling. Around behind the net. Connor Foley came out in front with it. Tristan Sim taking freeborn spot on this line. As McCardle wrists it through off the back glass. Johnson skates his way in. Poked at by Delaney. Scrum in the corner. Delaney launches it out all the way down. And that will just have enough for another icing against Motor City. Three seventeen left in period three. Prowler switch things up. They get Rank Court's line out there with Federley and Jay. Lockhart and Parsons, the defense bear for this offensive zone faceoff. They tie up. Faceoff comes to Vanderweel. Centering feed by Federley, nobody home. But again, the Rockers ice the puck and the Prowlers with another opportunity. With an offensive zone faceoff and Austin Federley who's gotten a rough ride tonight. Takes another hit there from Wells as he centered that puck. Oh, rank court. Try again with Giuliano. Rank court goes forward this time. Couldn't get a shot on net though. Svinsaw works his way out. Chipped around Lockhart. Rockers need the change, so they'll get it. As Parsons goes up the boards, Rancourt has Federley and Jay with him. It's knocked off his stick. DJ Sneath back in. Now Milam recollects, tried to pass it to the blue line, but that's his position. So nobody there. Miguel Diaz over the blue line. He sends it around. Milam picks it up on the other side. Nick Gullo, turnaround shot. Sneef couldn't get a stick on it as he was trying to deflect it. And then the faceoff will be coming in Prowler territory after the net came off its moorings. Shots right now 15-5 in favor of the Prowlers in this third period. 42-23. to Fourth port here on for the game. 23 shots, the season, the fewest the Prowlers have given up in a game this season. Rockers will surely break that, but that was Motor City 
that only got 23 shots on the Prowlers. That was back in January. They battle for it at the side of the cage. Prowlers look to work it out. Evan Foley pushed into the pile. They still dig away on the half wall. Finally comes out and Wallace scoops it up and gets a whistle and a face off with under two to play. Meanwhile for the Prowlers, again 42 shots on net. Their season high is 54. But also in the top five, ranking fifth on the list is 43. That came back in March against Elmira. That was, of course, a game that went all the way to a shootout. Both of those games against Elmira went to shootouts. That was a few weeks ago here at McBoran Place. Prowlers won both. Delaney saved by Wallace. The rebound, another one from Ian Wallace. That one on Spinsoff. Oh, and the Prowlers get so lucky there as the clearing attempt what looked like it was going over the glass and it hit the top of the glass before bouncing out of play. And that is a, a deflection, so no delay of game penalty as lucky. But how about Ian Wallace stretching all the way out? Spinsov tried to wait him out and he couldn't do it as Wallace stretched all the way out to make the stop. Johnson had some trouble with it. They dig away. And the Prowlers are able to tie up and get the puck out of danger. Well, they can't clear the zone. Giuliano turns it towards the back side. Milam to the net. Didn't get all of it. And Connor Foley able to force it out. And Johnson settles things down. Works his way up. And a cross corner dump collected by Miguel Diaz. Off the boards and out, McCardle dumps it right in. Tucker Scantleberry down towards Rancourt. Puck slides through for Sneath in the final minute of regulation. A 2-2 hockey game between the two Michigan rivals in the FPHL. The battle of I-94 coming down to it once again. Rancourt. Tried to fire a pass across, that hit a body, and deflects out to center. Lockhart to Parsons, trying to wheel his way up, dumps it in towards Gonzalez. Oh, and they call the icing. And Gullo didn't like that Federley tried to put it on net. Everybody comes together, and they're separated. We'll see where they put this face off. Looks like they let the Prowlers change, so maybe they're giving the my bad on the icing. Or maybe not. Parsons and Lockhart are heading to the bench. That's a little bit strange that they let the Prowlers change but did not Move the face off to center. Either way, 26.6 up on the clock. Face off between Evan Foley and Jonathan Giuliano. Tied up. Giuliano tried to feed it back to the point. Jay able to wrestle himself away from TJ Delaney and dump it in. Evan Foley trying to pick it up on the other side off the carom. Couldn't do it as he was tied up by Colton. Long lead pass goes all the way down. No icing as Giuliano won the race. Kowash to the net. He scores with 5.1. Scott Kowash puts the Rockers ahead. It came all the way back down. Kowash found some space to the net. And Motor City looks like they've all but won this game thanks to two third period goals. Prowlers will call their time out here and draw something up for the final 5.1. And the Prowlers had a two to nothing lead 
in this game. The play came all the way down. Koash able to move to the middle of the ice. And he goes top shelf on Ian Wallace. And it looks like Motor City is going to steal this game. Unless the Prowlers can get something here with 5.1 seconds to go. Looks like there's motioning towards the penalty boxes. And Matt Graham is leaving the bench. Not sure what that's about. Chris Paul and drawing up a play right now. Fans heading to the exits here at McMoran Place. What a game this has been. Prowlers had a two to nothing lead. Rockers with, with one in the second off a funny hop. And then two here in the third. Declan Conway has two. Scott Koash has the other. And the what looks to be the game winner with 5.1 up on the clock. Prowlers with six attackers out there. Rancor, Connor Foley, McCardo, Federley, Jay, and Johnson. Four Port here on, 5.1 on the clock. One back to Johnson. Quick up to Dalton Jay with two. Couldn't handle the puck and that's going to do it. And the Motor City Rockers escape and steal the three points from the Prowlers. Rockers clinching the second spot in the Empire Division with the victory, which means tomorrow's game will be just about meaningless for both sides, but we do invite you to tune in anyway. Puck drop scheduled for 6.05 p.m. Pre-game show will start at 5.50 right here on the PHP Network. That one will be live from Big Boy Arena down in Frazier, Michigan. But the Prowlers heartbroken after this loss. They outshot the Rockers 42 to 25. Certainly Ricky Gonzalez has to be considered as a star of the game. As Declan Conway picking up third star honors. Dan Chartrand gets the second star after a two assist game. And they'll give Scott Koash the number one star, but certainly Ricky Gonzalez with 40 saves has to be in that discussion as well. As he stopped 40 of 42 shots, the Prowlers threw his way. And the Prowlers We'll head into tomorrow's game with frustration. You still see Alex Johnson, Tucker Scantleberry, and Brian Parsons talking with both referees. Chris Paul and Evan Foley still over by the bench. I think at this point they're trying to make sure that nobody's going to get suspended beyond tomorrow and that nothing will affect the playoffs. Matt Graham was asked to leave before that game ended. He received an abusive officials game misconduct. And for the Prowlers, they see their four game win streak come to an end. Dan Chartrand with a couple of assists. Jeremy Rancourt with, the, with his first pro goal among the highlights. Uh, Makar Sokolov made 17 saves on 18 shots in the first 40 minutes and then he was replaced by Ian Wallace who was not able to keep things going. And Wallace on the hook for the loss after giving up two goals on seven shots in period number three, including the game winner from Scott Kowash with 5.1 seconds to go. Declan Conway had the other two for Motor City and again Danny Vanderweel, third star of the game tonight, had two assists. Take one more look around the FPHL before we close things out. The 
Blue Ridge Bobcats have a 4-2 lead on Watertown. That one late stages third period. Danbury early on the third period up 3-2 on Binghamton. The Columbus River Dragons and Carolina Thunderbirds tied up at two midway through the third. And the Mississippi Seawolves and Baton Rouge Zydeco also tied up at two. They're playing in the second period. But the Prowlers drop a heartbreaker. They'll be back tomorrow for their final regular season game down at Big Boy Arena. Again, we invite you to tune in right here on the PHP Network. But for now, for Kim running the camera, I'm Will Wigland. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you then right here on the PHP Network.